What up y'all? Welcome to Pop Talk Comics. I'm Jojo coming at you from the Woman Cave in Vegas. Alright guys, I'm just going to get right into this because I have five BAM boxes that I need to open and it's just been far too long since I've done this. So um, if you enjoyed my last video of unboxings, which was like five months worth of loot crates, then you're probably going to enjoy this video too. So. If it's not your jam, that's perfectly okay. I have comic hauls and collectible hauls that you go check out if you so choose. But right now, we are getting deep into the BAM box. Let's go ahead and start. Alright, so first up we have the May BAM box here. I don't know themes to these boxes and I don't know what's inside. Uh, I just kept away from any kind of spoiler or unboxing video, sadly, because, you know, I always really want to watch them, but I don't want to get spoiled. So. Yeah, I'm ready to get into it, if you are. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. And just a heads up, the band box seems to get a lot of mixed reviews. Um, and I can kind of understand why. If you're not really into art or signatures by artists or celebrities, then this box isn't your jam. This isn't like the other boxes where you get like geeky knickknacks or pops or uh, other collectible items. This is more so for... Uh, the type of people that like going to cons and uh, standing in line for signatures. Um, except this way is a lot easier <laughs> and it comes to your door every single month. So that's why I enjoy the band box. I tend to be on the uh, I kind of like it uh, side of things, then I think it sucks, um, which I've heard from a lot of people. So yeah, let's just get into it. Oh, what am I doing? Can't look at it. Luckily there's some paper here so I didn't see anything. Let's go. What do we got first? And there's no shirt in this. I believe these boxes are about 35 bucks if I'm not mistaken. That's shipped. So, ooh, we got a Punisher print. I like the clean style of art here and I like that it's that digital type of art. Pretty unique looking. And it is signed by the artist right here. Very cool. And then you got your uh, COA here. And the artist is Dave Perillo. Alright, what else do we got in here? Feels like another print. Oh, no, it's not a print. It's a still from the movie X-Men, it looks like. Yep, that's Sabretooth, right? Awesome! And it's signed. See, this is what I'm talking about. You don't have to go to a con and pay a bajillion dollars for a signature like this. You just get the band box and they bring it to your front door. Like, how cool is that? You know, these days, those uh, actor signatures are freaking expensive. Um, but anyway, this is, yeah, Sabretooth from the first X-Men movie. And yeah, there's a COA here. Very nice. And just another reason why I love the band box. Okay, love is kind of pushing it. I like the band box. All right, what else do we have in here? I feel some smaller things. Oh, what the? It's a bullet. Um, Baba Yaga, the boogeyman. I don't know the reference, guys. Please help me out here. Oh, what is this? It's a bottle opener. That's cool. Here we go. Baba Yaga, the boogeyman. It sounds kind of familiar, but it's not coming to me right now. But yeah, it's a really cool bottle opener. Very heavy duty. Very nice super good quality and I do love myself a bottle opener so it seems like there's another small item what is that oh okay cool it's a pin I forgot they put pins in these boxes too the pins have been hit or miss for me but this one's kind of cool this is a kabuki man I dig it that's sweet all right now is there anything else it feels like no yeah, it's just the ad. Okay. Yep, that's it. And I have to say that was a little bit of a lighter box. Um, so we have the Baba Yaga uh, bottle opener. Super cool. And again, I'm not going to go over value um, at all. Just I'll just say if I think it's worth it or not. Uh, just because it just takes a while. So I'm going to skip that part of my reviews. But yeah, the, oh, okay, it's from John Wick. I haven't seen the sequel, but I heard it was not as good as the first one. 
I did watch the first one. It was okay. I thought it was kind of overrated. I did enjoy it, but it, um, I don't know. Next up we have Kabuki Man Troma Pin. Pretty cool. Um, and apparently it's licensed, so that's awesome. And then we have the Sabertooth photo that was signed by Tyler Main. Guys, come on. This alone, if you go to a con, would be around 35 bucks, which is the price of the box. So, is it worth it? I think so. Uh, super cool. And then we have the print, the Punisher print. Really, really dig this. Uh, I love how it looks, Col colors pop, and the fact that it's signed by freaking Dave Perillo. Like, come on. Come on. Awesome. So yeah, did you get your money's worth? Even though there are only four items, yeah, you kind of did, so. Okay, so let's move on to July and see what they sent us as their here's the other item slash apology for being late box. <laughs> All right, Ugh. if I can even open this, my God. Ooh. All right, got it open. Let us see, we have this note here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. It basically says, just gonna paraphrase this, it says that they're coming up with a new design for their interior of the box. Whatever. Anyway, continue on. Let's see what we got. So, a bunch of paper. We have, oh, that's sweet. I love these little uh, film cells. So this is a, a Guardians of the Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Um, and we have Baby Groot there. And I think it's actually not a film cell of Baby Groot. It's a Star-Lord right there. I don't know if you can see that. He's right there. That's a cool item. And there's a little certificate of authenticity down here. So I like. Moving on. We got, uh, looks like a robot pin. That's pretty cool. I don't know where it's from though. Do you guys know? Um, the pin is, it says back here, Tweaky the Robot. What the? I have no idea what that's from. Um, oh, and by the way, I was mistaken. I can see here. It says, um, this is the May box. Okay, so the last one we opened was April. Yeah, sometimes it's hard when you uh, accumulate so many boxes to know which one's which. So anyway. Let us continue. Um, oh, ooh, I really like this. Okay, this is a uh, War of the Worlds print. Here's a look at it. I am a big uh, sci-fi slash horror fan, so I love this story. I read the book a long time ago and fell in love with it. Um, just a masterpiece by H.G. Wells. Look at the aliens there in the background and this kind of sonar like style because you know that um, back in the day they read the book uh, via the radio and a bunch of people thought it was true and that aliens were invading and everyone got scared. That was, that's a super cool print. I love this. Anyway, okay, moving on. Yes, I, yeah, okay. So they did spoil this item. Time to show y'all. It is signed by Tom Kane, who voiced Yoda in The Clone Wars. How freaking cool is this? Oh my god. Oh, I'm so excited. This is so awesome. Oh my god, I have chills right now. No chills. Yeah. Alright, what else is in here? Alright, that's it. Okay. So, spoiler booklets. Um, mm -mm. There were several different versions of the pin. Looks like there were three different kinds. Uh, I got the regular one. Apparently there was a limited edition to 250. Whatever. I didn't get it. <laughs> Um, inspired by the success of Star Wars, Buck Rogers in the 25th century was developed for TV. Okay, so this is Buck. Um, so yeah, I don't really know anything about Buck Rogers, but 
It's a nice pin. I, I do like that. It says we got a patch. Uh-oh. I hope I got it. Let me check. Oh, man. I didn't get the patch. What? Man. I wonder if they still have patches left. This is what I was supposed to get with it, but I didn't get it, so I'm kind of freaking bummed right now. Ugh. Oh, well. This is what happens. This is what I get for opening boxes late. I know, I know. It sucks. All right, and then Tom Kane. Yes, yes. Oh, the awesome Yoda signature. Well, not Yoda, but Tom Kane signature who voiced Yoda. Really freaking cool. I'm so stoked to have that in my collection now. I kind of wish I got this one because he's ready to throw down, but this one's cool too. I mean, either one. This is an awesome signature to even have, so I'm stoked about that. And then uh, the last item we got in this like mini box is uh, the film cell. So really cool. Always love the film cell. And oh, sorry, that wasn't the last thing. I forgot about the print. Very cool print too. Love that. War of the Worlds, signed by what's his name? Okay, so the artist is Chris Garfalo. Um, I don't know of him, but if you guys know of him, let me know. Um, I would love to check out his other work because this is awesome. But yeah, very cool. Very happy about this. All right, so back up. I think I got the story all wrong. The April box had all the items it needed to have in it, but it was delayed. I think that's what happened. And then to make up for it, they gave us this extra Yoda autograph here. Um, but then there was another problem where the May box came light. So I think they try to make up for it in the, what is this, in the June box. So this one feels really heavy. So that's I think what happened. I don't know. It's been too long. I have no idea. But. Um, anyway, yeah, the May box did come light, and I don't think that that's worth the money. Um, if you exclude this, because this is technically a bonus item, shouldn't have to include it in the value, this is not worth $35. Like, usually uh, these types of art prints are maybe like $10, $15 tops, I would say. Um, signed like that and numbered so yeah that's not and then these are almost throw-in items so mm, they were definitely lacking there I think they were just saying this was a bonus item to um, avoid any kind of backlash from the other box being late so that kind of sucks uh, yeah because technically it's not an extra item <laughs> all right Let's continue here. So we got our next box, and this one is the June box. This one seems really full. They probably realized they done effed up, so they're trying to like make up for it where they could. All right. Moving on, moving on. Sorry, that got real confusing for a second there. <laughs> but all right. Okay, I got my patch. Yay! I was so sad. <laughs> oh, so happy now. Okay, still not worth $35. Though. <laughs> All right, moving on. I can't see so. Oh, what? Lucha Libre? What the? This is so random. But right in time for the holiday. So here's the second item. Do you guys like it? I mean, I could wear it in every video if y'all want, but <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty cool because I didn't have a Halloween costume in mind yet. So hey, this works out. And yes, I am going to be wearing this. Maybe not for the rest of the video, but at least for the rest of this unboxing. <laughs> okay. We have, oh, this one is cool. Oh yeah love Shaun of the Dead. So this pin is right up my alley. I dig it. Very cool. And this is the June theme. Heroes and Villains. 
accused, villains, and un unlikely heroes. Okay. Alright, what else have we got in here? What? Oh, another cool patch! Oh yeah, look at that! Hey you guys! Got to love the Goonies! The Goonies! Oh, how cool! Never say die, yo. Never say die. Moving on. What? I think I'm the only person in the world that gets excited for journals. I love journals. And it's Batman. What? It's like they're catering this box to me, guys. This is amazing. I don't know how people can not like the band box. I... I love it. I love it! Okay. So, what do we have here? <gasps> oh. My. God. Look at that print. Tell me that is not amazing. Oh wow, look at that detail. Ah, uh, the scene here, I just love. Oh, man. This is one of my all-time favorite movies. And, oh, I cherish this. This is amazing. Um, I don't think it's signed. Okay. It's not signed. I mean, there's a little signature here, but it's uh, printed on there, so that's fine. It says it's an extra item back here. I'm just confused with what happened. Uh, it, yeah, maybe I'll go back and read the emails they sent a while ago, but they kept... I remember them saying that the Yoda print was going to be an extra item, so I guess this is another extra item? Who the heck knows, but I freaking love it and I'm glad they included it. Alright, so I have the other one right here still. Let's see what it is together. Oh wow, that is neat. Again, Goonies. How cool! That's a great print here. I'm usually not super into like very animated looking art, but this is awesome. Undeniable. Of course he's got the baby Ruth there. Love this. Love it. Love it. And this one is signed and numbered. Number 1557 out of 4000 with a COA. And the artist is Tim Odland. Uh, yeah, so I don't know him, but still super sweet print. Love that. All right, what else do we have in here? This is a good box. Okay. What? Oh my god! Oh my god! Sorry, freaking out. Look. How cool! It's the Red Ranger! And it's signed! What's his name? Okay, his name is Austin St. John. Played the original Red Ranger. What? Oh my god. Freaking out, guys. I was a huge Mighty Morphin Power Ranger fan growing up. Um, watched it, like, religiously, so this is a big item for me. It's a big deal. It's a big, big deal, guys. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. I, can't, I don't know if you can get better than that. Okay, guys. So, I think that's it. Yep, it's it. And um, here's a new design they were talking about for the box. It's not as busy looking as the old one, but it's still pretty cool. Okay, a little recap for you. So we have the pin, and I got the common one, but you could have gotten a bloody version, which was out of a thousand, and a uh, zombie version out of 250. So I wish I got one of the variants, but I mean, hey, it's still a really cool pin. Next up, we have our print. Again, I got the common one. Uh, there was another variant that was limited to 500, but 
you can see there it's just a color difference the background is all green on this one so no big deal um, okay oh and then we have our patch amazing patch not sure where I'm gonna stick that but it's amazing and then we have the awesome signature by the original Red Ranger. How amazing, guys. Again, this alone is probably going to cost you the price of the box. So cool. Um, yeah, because you go to a con, you wait in line, you got to pay. Ugh, it's just a big hassle. It takes a lot of your time. And, you know, you want to go other places in the con, not just be in line the whole time. So... I love this. This is awesome. And yeah. Alright, and lastly we have the mask. The Nacho Libre mask. I didn't know it was exactly a bat. I wasn't sure if it was just a random mask, but yeah. Seems to be from Nacho Libre. So, that's awesome. And I'm glad they included that too. So, definitely worth the money for sure. Oh yeah, and then I forgot about the journal. Um, very cool. I love Batman. I love journals, oddly enough. So this was right up my alley. Heck yeah. Great box. Well worth it. Very cool. Alright guys, now I can actually breathe without that mask on. <laughs> but this box feels a little bit light, so I hope it's worth it. Um, this is probably the July box, but let's crack into it and see. So, okay. What? This is weird. Okay, this is really weird. I'm like thoroughly creeped out right now. <laughs> okay, this is a very cool item, first off. It's from Harry Potter, and it's uh, the Ravenclaw Crest. I took the test on Pottermore, and I'm a Ravenclaw. What? Mind blown. How did they know? Oh my god, this is so cool! Ah, oh, love it. Love it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what it is exactly, though. It's like a little badge. Maybe like, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll look at the booklet. Alright, what else do we have in here? Oh my god, this is beautiful. I just got chills. I got chills again, guys. This is what, the second time in this video I'm getting nerd chills. Holy smokes, guys. This is a beautiful print. It's when Gwen Stacy died. Oh my god. I'm about to cry. This is so... Sorry, I'm like holding back tears. This is an amazing, an amazing piece here. Oh, look at that. You really feel the emotion there. And uh, it says Bam Noir variant, and it's numbered 295 out of 500. You can see that, and it's signed. Oh my gosh, that is breathtaking. Um, this was done by Logan Pack, who I don't know of either, but wow, I'm definitely gonna look into his stuff because I keep getting like recurring chills right now, and. <laughs> Oh, when art can do that to you, that's that's when you know. That's when you know. Just amazing. Ugh. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna start crying right now. Okay. Alright. What do we got here? Oh, okay. This is a pin and it looks like it looks like um King Kong, but yeah. I wasn't sure if it was from that game Overwatch, I think. But yeah, it is King Kong. I just checked on the back. Very cool pin. I love King Kong, as y'all know. So, very stoked to have that. That's neat. Super cool. Alright. And the theme is Heroes and Villains, Animal Influence. Nice. Okay. What else do we have here? Ooh, we got another patch. Here's a close-up of it, and that's pretty cool. It's kind of a simple logo. Uh, 
it's at Thunder Thundercats. I don't really know too much about Thundercats. I never really watched it or anything or read any comics. So yeah, um, if anyone's interested in this patch, let me know. Um, and it looks like I got a one up. I didn't know they were still doing that for this box, but it says, congratulations, you got a one up card. You have an upgraded or limited edition item in your box. I think that was for the print. The, uh, the one that was out of 500, so I'm so happy about that print, guys. It's not easy. Sorry, I'm just dropping stuff all over the place. Okay. Alright, what's next? Oh, uh, what the? Super cool Teen Titans signature! Heck yeah! Okay, which, which signature do we got here? Um, blah, 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 blah. signed by Greg Sipes, who voiced Beast Boys. Awesome! Here we go. It'd be cool to get all their signatures, just because, um, you know, there's so much more space and all of the characters on here. I would have liked if it was just the Beast Boy, like, still from the cartoon or something. That would have been, I think, a little more appropriate, but... Yeah, because just looking at the signature, you don't know who whose it is, so. But it's still really cool that they included this, regardless, so. Yeah, very nice. Okay. Okay, what else? We have this little box here. Oh, wow, that's cool. That's really nice quality, too. Definitely not cheapy. So we have dog tags. And they are Logan dog tags here. Wolverine. And it has his number here. It's ID. That's really cool. Alright, I think that's it for the box. Yes, it is. Okay. So, first up we have the King Kong pin. Really like that. Um, you could have gotten, I think, a Donkey Kong that was out of 250. That would have been cool to get, but I really do like the Kong King, Kong King, King Kong one. Um, other one. Okay, and then there's also a Gorilla Grodd version you could have got that was also a common. But I think I'm better off with the King Kong one because I'm a big fan of King Kong. So then we have the dog tags, which were really cool and pretty good quality. They're pretty heavy. So I do like that. I'm probably going to like post it up near, I don't know, like a Wolverine action figure, maybe my Wolverine, um, what's it called, Legends figure. So that'd be cool. Moving on, we have the uh, <laughs> Hogwarts School little patch here. What is it? Let's see. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry was divided into four houses, each bearing the last name of its founder, blah 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 blah. Each house carries its own traits. Um, Alright, it doesn't really say what it is, <laughs> um, but I will probably end up like trying to sew it on somewhere, or maybe stick like a safety pin back here so I can make it pin because this is really neat. I really do like it. And the fact that they got it right, like, what are the chances? I'm still kind of perplexed by that. That's kind of, it's kind of creepy, not gonna lie. I mean, I'm trying to think if I like filled out some kind of survey where they were like, oh, what house are you? But I don't remember doing that ever for this box. So that's really weird. Anyway. <laughs> We have the uh, signature by the voice actor that uh, played Beast Boy. So very cool to have this in my collection as well. I'm trying to think if I have too many, I don't think I have too many Beast Boy items, but I'll, I mean this will still go very nicely in the woman cave and I just gotta find a frame for it. That'd be nice. So yeah, super cool love Teen Titans, so that's awesome. Uh, we have the uh, Thundercats patch. 
this was kind of meh for me. Um, it's it's really cool, but I'm just not really a Thundercats fan. Um, you know, I just never have really delved into that world. So yeah, again, if you guys like it, let me know. And then, oh my God, this print makes the box for me. And I did get a one up for this item in particular. And this was out of 500. And it was a black and white version of the actual print that was in color. Um, yes, and it's the death of Gwen Stacy. I keep getting chills just looking at this. I, I sh maybe should not look at it. But it's it's so beautiful though. I have to keep looking. So, um, yeah, I just love it. I don't know what else to say about this. Um, just super happy about it. So, yeah, again, definitely worth the money here. A lot of really cool, like, filler items, too. I mean, it sounds bad when I say filler, but these are, like, quality little items that I'm actually going to use, you know? Like, I really do like these things. So, aside from awesome artist and celebrity signatures, you are getting really cool little geeky knickknacks here um, that aren't that cheap. Because I know that was one of my gripes before. Like, they were including little geeky items uh, on the side that were like super cheapy like the quality was like not there so the fact that they're stepping up stepping it up is really cool so yeah let's move on because I tend to jabber on and on and ain't nobody got time all right so let us continue all righty this should be what are we on now like July let me check this is, um, I think July, I'm not sure. Okay. Wait. Oh. No, this was August? We'll see. We'll see right now. I'm so lost. Alright, what? Um, excuse me. This is amazing. <laughs> was not expecting to find this. How funny. I love sharks. And it's signed. What the? It's a squeaky toy. Oh my god, my dog's gonna go crazy. I should probably not do that. <laughs> Alright. And this is signed by? This is so random. This shark has been signed by Tara Reed. What? Who plays April Wexler in the Sharknado movies. Oh my goodness. It was signed during a private signing in the band box. Um, this is hilarious, guys. This is so kitschy. I think, um, I don't know. I don't even know where I'm going to put this. But it's amazing. This is hilarious. She signed it right here. Let me show you. That's so funny. Oh, that's pretty creative, though. I like that. Ugh. I'm sure so many people complain about this, but I think it's freaking awesome that they would send that. Oh my god. Oh, I get a kick out of it. Okay. Alright. What else do we have in here? Uh, Dark Matter props. Okay. The Bam Box Edition. So let's open this in here. What? Oh, wow. That's cool. Um, this is from The Witcher. I don't know of The Witcher. Is that a video game? But it comes with a little drawstring. And let me open this up for you. Wow, that is gorgeous. I really like this. Looks pretty evil. Yeah, that's a really neat little charm necklace. I really like that. I probably will end up giving it away though, not just not because I don't like it. I think it's very well designed and it's uh, pretty good quality, like it's very heavy. Um, yeah, but I feel like I should give this to somebody who actually knows what it is. Um, but yeah, so again, let me let me know if you guys are interested in uh, this. We could work out some kind of trade or something. Super cool though. And I'll put it in this drawstring, and I'll put it back in the box it came in. So, yeah. Really neat. Really neat stuff. Okay, what 
do we have in here? Got what looks like a print. All right, I'm gonna look at it with you guys. So, mm -hmm. ooh, that is freaking awesome. You guys know I like my Batman and my Joker, so is that supposed to be Harley Quinn? <laughs> I don't know. Because um, it has her colors, too. I think it is. How funny. But yeah, this is really cool. Uh, and it is signed right here. It is signed and it is numbered. It's number 88 out of 1500. And it is by artist Chrissy Chung. So, really cool. Really cool. I dig that. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. Okay. We have some smaller items. Oh, cool. We have a limited edition um, Rodriguez pin from Futurama. That's really well done, actually. I like that. I haven't watched Futurama, but I have a friend that loves Futurama, so I might just send this her way. Really cool. Oh, what month was it? August. Okay, so this is August box. I just never know. Okay. What is this? Another patch. I don't recognize this character, but it looks like it's from the medieval time, so my guess is it's from Game of Thrones. But do not quote me on that. If you guys know. Actually, I'm going to find out in a second. So, yeah. It kind of looks like Quentin Tarantino. Not going to lie. Like, just his face. That's kind of weird. Moving right along here. Yeah, I feel like... What is this? <laughs> oh, that's a cute little throw in. We have the, li the fake license from Superbad. How cool. What's his name again? Uh, 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 oh, it doesn't say his name there. Oh yeah, McLovin. <sighs> I forgot about that. It's been years. I need to watch that again. Such a good movie. All right, so what else we got here? I think that's it. Yep, that's it for August. <laughs> oh man, some of these items though, super funny. All right, so we got the common pin um, you could have gotten Dr. John or Leonard. <laughs> Leonard. And uh, the Dr. John one was out of 500. The Leonard one was out of 250. So I'm fine with this one. I, again, I'm just going to give this to my friend. So no big deal. We got the Witcher prop replica, like charm necklace thing. Uh, really well done. I really did like this, um, but I, I am going to give it to somebody who uh, really enjoys this property. Uh, what is it? The Witcher, right? Witcher dog tags from Dark Matter props. Um, yeah, but it's pretty cool though. Pretty cool item. We got the Tara Reed signed shark squeaky toy. How hilarious is that? So... I love how they think outside the box, though. That's so funny. Oh, and if you guys didn't know, they have a new horror box coming out, and I actually was just in time to order it. I think I ordered it like the day of the deadline or something, but I did get around to doing that, so you can expect that soon, I think. <laughs> um, anyway, so, all right, moving on, we have the Ancient Chinese Duel with Batman and Joker and Harley Quinn over here. Uh, just awesome. I, I think it's really cool that uh, they can adopt that style onto Batman and Joker. Gives a little more of an ethnic vibe. I dig it. Um, but yeah, that was signed by Chrissy Chung. And then... I could have gotten this really sweet Joker one too, which I would have loved as well. Actually, I think I would have liked it a little bit more because you know me and Joker. And, but yeah, I got this one, which is sweet as well, so. And we have the uh, fake license, which is hilarious as well. All right, and lastly, we have the uh, patch, which 
I was dead wrong. It's not from Game of Thrones. It's actually from Ghostbusters. I never would have recognized him. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, his name is Vigo the Carpathian. I didn't know this. I didn't know this was him. Like, I couldn't tell. Um, but yeah, maybe I will... I have a lot of little random Ghostbusters items. It'd be really neat to, like, make some kind of, like, scrapbook type of thing. Um, that'd be neat. So, yeah, maybe I'll do that. But, yep, I, again, I really did enjoy this box. Um, two of the items weren't really geared to my likings. Do you see things? But everything else was just spot on, so love that. Um, yeah, again, really good band box. Uh, 35 bucks, well worth it, just with the art. I love the art they give us. Uh, and a lot of times they put Batman stuff in there, which I know may not be great for everybody, but I feel, again, I feel like these boxes are really geared towards me. It's the weirdest thing. Okay, but enough of my yapping. We are moving on to the last box that I have currently. So let's do it. Do it, do, do it. What is this? Oh, this is interesting. Looks like a prop replica of some kind. Um, 1632, Chris Ren, Ryan, I have no idea what this is from. I'm trying to think because it looks kind of familiar, but I don't know. It's really nice and well done, like very nice quality. So yeah, I have no idea. I guess we'll find out in a second. Okay. Oh, look what I pulled out. It's a one up. Heck yeah. Wonder what we got. Um, we have a pin. Okay. This one is Space Ghost. That's pretty neat. I do like Space Ghost, so that's cool. Pretty cool. I like that. All right, moving on. Ooh, oh man, they're killing it with their patches. Wow, that's a Watchmen. Watchmen logo, really cool. See, I, this is what I wish that the Funko boxes would do. They'd get a little more creative with their patches because right now it's it just feels so template based and we're getting very similar things every single month. Um, so I just wish they would change it up a bit and do something like this um, with their box. So that's really cool that that box is doing, doing that and doing such a good job of those patches. Uh, what is this? What? What? <laughs> I think I recognize this. I wonder if this is the same Deadpool mask that uh, Chris from OMG channel wears. That is hilarious. Look at this Deadpool mask. It's kind of like, it feels kind of like a beanie, like a big sock. <sighs> Guys, you know what that means. This thing smells. Ew. I know I said it looked like a sock, but ugh, it smells like one too. All right, let's continue here. What else do we got? Um, what is this from? Oh, okay, this is a print from uh, the Defenders on Netflix. So here you guys go. I have not tuned into this because if you saw my last couple of videos, I mentioned that I am not current with any TV shows. <laughs> and if you want to know why, go check out my other videos, the Loot Crate one to be precise. But here's the signature, very nice. And it's also numbered 607 out of 1500, so that's cool. Uh, this one's okay. I like the different colors that represent them and it looks kind of like very comic booky, like the panels and everything. It's 
silhouettes down here. Yeah, it's a neat, neat little print. Um, yeah, I'd be willing to trade this though if you guys want, because again, I haven't seen it. So yeah, it doesn't mean too much to me. Moving on, man, I don't know how OMG does this. It's getting kind of hot in here. Ugh. <gasps> Ooh, this is awesome. What? Oh, I love it. I'm such a sucker for BB-8, so this is so cool. Look at that. I love how colorful this is. Oh, wow. You, you got that, like, electronic kind of vibe going on. All the neon colors. That's sweet. Makes it pop. Love that. Is this signed? Yeah, yeah signed right there by Brian Herring that is the artist so I'm definitely gonna look him up too cool all right let's move along I think that's it okay yeah that feels like yeah that was a little bit of a lighter box I would say I mean I like the items that came with it uh, let's find out what this little like medallion thing was I have no idea all right so let's do a little recap here we got the pin we got the common pin there was one out of 500 and one out of 250 but it's all good i really like this one and then we got the patch which i cannot find at the moment where did i put it the watchman patch i love this thing this thing was awesome okay so next we got the bb8 print i love this print very bright and like, I like that electrical kind of look to it. Um, yeah, this happens to be the one up item in the box and it was out of 250, so it's pretty rare. Really do love it. And I like that it's signed and numbered. It's number, where's the number? Ah, here we go. It's number 126 out of 250. So awesome, cool. All right, next up we got the prop. This prop I did not recognize. <laughs> And I feel like a Dumbo because it's from Goonies. Like, what? I wouldn't have remembered it. So that's really neat though because I love the Goonies. I just, I'm not really good at remembering small little details from movies. So this kind of went under my radar, but very nice. And I do have other Goonies collectibles. So it would be really cool to put that uh, side by side with my other stuff. So we also have the Defenders print. Uh, this was not really uh, for me, but again, if anybody is interested in this, let me know. We could work out a trade of some kind. And last but not least, we have this mask. This Deadpool mask is awesome. Uh, it's weird, like even though it's netted right here in the eyes, I could still see. So that's pretty cool. The only thing is, it's kind of hard to breathe. <laughs> so I'm gonna, oh man, Whew. So yeah, once again, I feel that we did get our money's worth in this box. And overall for the past five months, I would say that BAM has been doing a good job. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep ordering until they let me down because they haven't really let me down lately. I, I like their dorky stuff they put in, like that shark with that that was signed by Tara Reid like that's just hilarious and it's jo like Jojo written all over it I love it love 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 I like the corniness give it to me give it to me so anyway I definitely am happy with my last five boxes if you guys are happy with this video give me a like or subscribe or both I don't hate it and you can also catch me on Twitter and on Instagram at pop.comics. And I guess I'll catch you all over there. Later.